good morning everyone i am k manjula crt bioscience kgbv markox from siddipet district today i am going to explain about sense organs the subtopic is functioning of the eye already we know that eyes nose ears tongue and skin are the sense organs so uh, today we are going to discuss about the functioning of the eye in this uh, the visual sensation now i am explaining the eye collects light through a convex lens focuses it and forms an image in the retina at the back of the eye the lens turn the image left to right and upside down this visual reversal may have influenced the very structure of the brain to maintain this reversal in its sensory processing regions thus most information from the sense organs crosses over the over to the opposite side of the brain in this way in this way maps of the eye maps of the body of the brains sensory areas are typically reversed and inverted the unique characteristics of the eyes eye is that its ability to take the information from the light waves then converts the characteristics of light into the new neural signals that the brain can process the lenses of near sighted persons focuses focus images are in front of the retina whereas far sighted persons behind the retina cell sign tissues in the eye rods and cones are the cells present in the eye so in this figure the end of the Uh, the end of this figure the rod sign cones are present if these cells we observe clearly the, the first one is the rod rod cells it is present in our eye the rods are nearly 125 million uh, cells are present in our eyes they uh, they contain the pigment rhodopsin and uh, detect the light at night the second one are the cells cones uh, nearly 7 million cells are present and they contain the pigment of iodopsin they detect the capacity of uh, colors fovea the cones are concentrated in a small region called fovea in the center of the retina blind spot there is a small area of the retina in each eye has no photoreceptors iris patterns are individual specific and can be used for identification just as our fingerprints eye protection each eye protected by eyelids eyelashes eyebrows and lacrimal or tear glands a thin membrane covers the front part of the eye called conjunctiva which is made up of transparent epithelium the unwanted substances come in contact with conjunctiva the lacrimal glands are stimulated to wash the substances out of the eye the fluids protects the lens and other part of the eye from mechanical shocks cornea is the clean window in the sclera in front of the iris which protects the eye from direct exposure to light taking care of our eyes wash eyes with fresh water at least thrice or four times per day keep the distance between book and your eyes about 25 cm while reading don't give continuous stress and strain to the eyes stop the work for some time whenever your eyes feel stressed eat food materials 
like green leafy vegetables carrots etc rich in vitamin a work under good lighting don't rub your eyes if anything falls in them just wash the eyes immediately remove dust in the eye by using blowing air consult the eye specialist immediately whenever you you face any vision related problems avoid to see lightning was uh, gas welding sparks eclipse diseases and defects of the eye the main diseases and defects of the eye are night blindness xerophthalmia myopia near sightedness hypermetropia far sightedness glaucoma cataract color blindness some persons may have eye defect by birth due to various reasons thank you